angels do what he wants to do. And I understand this, Mashiach El Shai is right here to fulfill the commandments of the Most High. Right here. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. We put this blood around our doorposts. We as Israelites. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. When I smite the land of Egypt. See, he's doing this. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial. And ye shall keep it a feast to the Most High to out your generations. Ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. So you're supposed to keep this feast forever. Seven days shall ye eat unleavened bread. Here it is. Seven days shall ye eat unleavened bread. Even the first day ye shall put away leaven out of your houses. So everything that has yeast, supposed to get rid of. Take it out of your house. As it is written. Seven days shall you eat unleavened bread. Even the first day you shall put away leaven out of your houses. For whosoever eateth leavened bread from the first day until the seventh day, that soul shall be cut off from Israel. Man, that's how serious this is. He said you're going to be cut off from Israel. Cut you off. In the first day there shall be an holy convocation, and in the seventh day there shall be an holy convocation to you. No matter of work shall be done in them, save that which every man must eat. That only may be done of you. So you gotta you are allowed, we're allowed to to prepare the meal. Which is a very, you know, shallow meal is only four things, like you said, lamb, uh, the bitter herbs and unleavened bread. And they all symbolic here, as we do them here, the symbolic or shadow of things that come representing the Mashiach Yavashah. It says, And the first day there shall be an holy convocation, which is called the Passover. And in the seventh day there shall be an holy convocation to you. No matter of work shall be done in them, save that which every man must eat, that only may be done of you. Because it's just like the sun. But he's allowing us to prepare the food for, you know, whatever we have to eat for that day. And ye shall observe the feast of unleavened bread. For in this selfsame day have I brought you your armies out of the land of Egypt. Therefore shall ye observe this day in your generations by an ordinance forever. Say, this is supposed to last forever. It's not just temporary. In the first month, which we are now, on the 14th day of the month, at even. You know, some people were saying it could be any time. No, it said at even. That's when the, it's dark upon the earth. You shall eat unleavened bread until the one and twentieth day of the month at even. So you're supposed to eat unleavened bread seven days. Every day you're supposed to have a piece of unleavened bread. And I believe uh, if you if you read the ingredients on uh, uh, like corn to tea or flour to tea, read the, uh, all it is is like uh, flour and water. Really. You know, the wheat really is symbolic, so you know, you ask the Most High, you bless your food anyway, so you bless the food, and you ask the Most High, you know, to, or you can make your own, if you're able. With just some flour and water, a little oil, olive oil in there, and you can use, because uh, it's supposed to be sweet, so you can put honey, or you can put uh, maple syrup, whatever you choose to do. 
You wanna put some sugar in there? It should be all right. It's sweet. Make it sweet. Seven days shall there be no leaven found in your houses. Whosoever eateth that which is leaven, even as soul, shall be cut off from the congregation of Israel, whether he be a stranger or born in the land. Ye shall eat nothing leaven, in all your habitations shall ye eat unleavened bread. It's got to be unleavened bread. Then Moses called all the elders of Israel and said unto them, Draw out and take you a lamb according to your families and kill the Passover. See, the lamb is called the Passover. And ye shall take a bunch of hyssop and dip it in the blood that is in the basin and strike the lintel and the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin and none of you shall go out at the door of his house until the morning. So don't come outside. Don't be like last wife. The angels told him, don't turn around. And he was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. She turned around. And, and to this day, there's a pillow of salt of Lot's wife. We see it right in the Zombie Van Bible Dictionary. They have it right there. Listen. He told us, don't come outside until the morning. That night, keep your butt inside. He said, for the Most High, while well, Mashiach Abishai will pass through to smite the Egyptians. And when he see, when he see, seeth the blood upon the lintel around the doorpost, and on the two side posts, the Most High, while well, Mashiach Abishai will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come in or to your houses to smite you. So think about it. I wonder how many Israelites, you know, how hard headed we are. I ain't gotta do that. Most I ain't gonna have I got faith in the most I ain't gonna destroy me. And they come through that when the destroyer came through, they didn't see no blood over their house. You know how hard headed Israel is. They still think that. All I gotta do is have faith. He telling you what to do. Certain things are written in this word. If you don't know, that's your problem. But it's written, these are commandments, these are orders, these are rules and regulations that the Most High gave Moses to give to us. He said to destroy you, when he said to destroy you through, who is a Mashiach to have a shot? Most people don't know. So when he comes to judge and make war, he already know how to take care of business. Like he told the Romans, I can, I can call down 12 legions of angels to destroy you. But I got to give my life for Got to do the will of the Most High for the twelve tribes of Israel. Hear what it says? And will not suffer the destroyer to come in unto your houses to smite you. And ye shall observe this thing for an ordinance to thee and to thy sons forever. It shall come to pass when ye shall come to the land which the Most High will give you, according as he hath promised, that ye shall keep this service. See? And it shall come to pass when your children shall say to you, What mean ye by this service? And ye shall say, It is the sacrifice of the Most High's Passover, who passed over the houses of the children of Israel in Egypt, when he smote the Egyptians and delivered our houses. And the people bowed their head and worshiped. The children of Israel went away and did as Most High had commanded Moses and Aaron, so did they. And it came to pass that at midnight, the Most High smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sat on his throne until the firstborn of the captive that was in the dungeon and all the firstborn of cattle, only Egyptian now. And Pharaoh rose up in the night he and all his servants and all the Egyptians. And there was a great cry in Egypt. But there was not a house where there was not one dead. See that? It wasn't a house. It wasn't one of the Egyptians or the servants, whoever it was, that was firstborn of the Egyptians, dead. And he called for Moses and Aaron by night and said, Rise up and get you forth from among my people, 
both ye and the children of Israel, and go, serve the Most High, as ye have said. Also take your flocks and your herds, as ye have said, and be gone, and bless me also. And the Egyptians were urging upon the people that they might send them out of the land in haste, in a hurry. But they said, we be all dead men. We don't get them away from us. The people took their dough before it was leavened, see? They took their dough before it was leavened. That's why we eat unleavened bread, because we had to get out of there in haste. It was kicking us out. As it says, and the people took their dough. Dough was what? Bread. Before it was leavened, their needle drops being bound up in their clothes upon their shoulders. And the children of Israel did according to the word of Moses. And they borrowed of the Egyptian jewels of silver. How you borrow something, you're never going to see them again. Jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment, clothes. The Most High gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians so that they lent unto them such things as they required. And they spoiled the Egyptians who robbed them. The children of Israel journeyed from Ramses to Succoth, about 600,000 on foot that were men beside children. And a mixed multitude went up also with them in flocks and herds, even very much cattle. And they baked unleavened cakes, see? And they baked unleavened cakes. And they baked unleavened cakes of the dough which they brought forth out of Egypt. For it was not leavened. This is cakes. Say no corn or whatever. It's cake. Dough. Unleavened cake Because they were thrust out of Egypt And could not tarry Neither had they prepared For themselves any victuals so They didn't have We didn't have a time To prepare For our exit It was time to go It was time to go Grab that bread And that rollers We are your roll the dough Let's get up out of here 